here, yoga teacher, inspiring a nimble approach to a joyful practice with day 14 of your 30 days of transitions. Today, we are going to talk about moving from downward facing dog to high lunge, very similar to moving from downward facing dog to low lunge. Uh, don't forget, this is not a full practice. This is just talking about the transition. So make sure that you're warmed up before you do anything in this video. I've also got my special guest Leo here taking a nap. He might provide some support later in this video. We'll see what happens. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and make your way into your downward facing dog. Use blocks if you'd like, whatever variation feels good for you. All right, so our first option is we're going to sweep our leg through so you don't have to do this but it might feel kind of good to get a little bit of momentum we're going to sweep our left leg back and then as we hug through the middle we're going to draw our knee in and shift forward to plank and then place your foot wherever it feels good for you for lunge so i like to bring my foot to the outside of my hand okay and then this back foot is gonna, this back knee is gonna stay nice and lifted. Now imagine while you're down here that you're trying to pull your feet towards each other, towards the center line to give you more stability. And then you can walk yourself up. All right, so that's transition one. Okay, fine. Some people can swing their leg, leg through, that's great. Other people feel like they get stuck. That can happen for a lot of different reasons. It might be flexibility. There also just might not be enough room between you and the floor. That tends to be what happens for me. I've got really short arms. Um, I just do better if I add blocks or I just bring my foot to the outside. Another thing that you can do if you feel like you get stuck. Okay, we're going to sweep our left leg back. You're going to keep engagement. You're going to keep everything hugged in. And then wherever you feel like you're stuck, just put your foot down there. You're going to bring the same hand as leg around your calf. And we're just going to help that foot forward. Wherever you want it to go, this back leg is still nice and strong. And then make yourself, make, ugh, walk yourself up. All right. Last transition, I bet you can guess what it is. We're going to move to table first. We're going to walk ourselves back to kneeling. We're going to bring our foot forward. Lots of space here. And now we're going to curl our back toes under. And you can either just stay here. We've got lots of strength pulling everything into the center line. And straighten that back knee any amount. Or you can put your hands on blocks or the ground first. Straighten your knee, feel nice and strong around the middle, and then make your way up. All right. Let me know what transition works best for you, and I will see you guys tomorrow.